Okay. So we got, you have a testimony to give. So with this, you have a testimony to give. You have a lot that you had, you know, experienced in life, that you have been through in life. And, you know, you went through these trials and different tribulations and stuff that you didn't expect to go through because you're going to have to come across people in life, you know, down the line that you're going to be able to help that went to went through similar things that you went through. And you'll know how it felt. You know, you'll be a voice to help these people get through, you know, whatever they have went through. And that's the testimony that you have to give. So you can help someone else give their te testimony and heal. Yeah, Three of Cups is here. So Three of Cups is all about reconciling, celebrating, you know, going to gatherings. You could be the type of person that, you know, you're going to gather people in a positive way with the testimony that you have to give. Because you've been through a lot. Yeah, the emperor is here. You're somebody that has control of your life. You control, you know, you can stand up and lead other people in a positive way and have control in a positive way. So you, so other people can know that they can stand up and lead their own life and won't be manipulated. Whether it's by friends, family members, or, you know, people that they're in relationship with. You're somebody that's very, you know, strong. You're a boss. You have been through a lot and you came out on top, the emperor. Yeah, this, this is also giving me that this person wants to reconnect and they, you know, have a testimony that they want to give to you. They want to talk to you. They want to connect to you. It's a lot of stuff that they never opened up to you about. And they want to talk to you and connect with you. Yeah, it could have been stuff that they went through in their family. Ten of Cups. A lot of people that they were showing love to as they're, you know, looking at you, looking at the future. They look at you as their ultimate happiness. They want to build a family with you. They could look at you as, you know, someone that they never opened up to because they, you know, didn't know that you guys have similar testimonies. You know, you had them been through stuff too. Yeah, the Seven of Cups is here. They could have had, you know, been in a lot of illusions and confusions by, you know, multiple things that they were placed around, multiple people that kept them confused at the Seven of Cups. Where they felt like they had all these different options and they didn't know which one, you know, which to choose. And they realized that they were going through the same thing, you know. Going through the same thing over and over again. But all they seen was you. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody that's single, sufficient, abundant, a boss. You can stand on your own two feet and you stand out. And that's what they like about you. You're the one that minds your own business. You're not always in the mix. You know, creating illusions and confusions like the Seven of Cups energy. Multiple, you know, options that they had, you know, been a, been around the world and dealt with, I would say. But you're somebody that's very abundant and sufficient on your own. You don't need any help. And this person admires you with this Nine of Pentacles. They admire the type of business that you do. You could be someone that's helping people in a positive way. Yeah, two of cups is here. This person wants to partner up with you. They know they want to work with you and partner up with you, but they're also like, they're, they have love for you, two of cups. They look at you as somebody that's their two of cups. They can work with you, partner up with you. Nine of swords, ten of pentacles, nine of wands, and king of pentacles. So this person has been having, you know, dreams about you a lot. Two of cups and nine of swords. They can't sleep at night. They've been having multiple dreams. It could be about past lives. It could be about this lifetime. And they're kind of, you know, like up in their head trying to figure a situation out with this nine of swords. Yeah, and then ten of pentacles is here. They want to create a generational wealth that, will, you know, that could be the dream that they're having about you. You know, you guys creating generational wealth. You guys coming together, being abundant. Working together, partnering up, and helping people because you both have a testimony to give. 
So this person could see, you know, your future with this Ten of Pentacles and Nine of Swords as well. And then Two of Cups in their dreams. Yeah, this person is somebody that's a very nurturing with this King of Pentacles and Nine of Wands. And they have went through the same cycle over and over again, giving to the wrong people, nurturing the wrong people, you know, keeping the wrong people stable. And they were always feeling left alone, feeling battered and bruised when they would always have to stand up and be the boss and have control of whatever situation they were in around whichever people that they, you know, had been across in their life. And it was just the same cycle over and over again. Eight of Pentacles. This made them want to work on their self at the Eight of Pentacles. Start working on their self. They could have started a new business. Eight of Pentacles and Four of Wands. Yeah, they want to work with you. So they've been seeing their self coming, you know, they've been seeing their self coming in union with you in a dream, working together, y'all building this future, you know, having good health, good wealth, and abundance, you know, longevity in life. And this person is also dreaming about the stuff that they went through over and over and over again with this nine of wands, a never ending cycle. And they realize that they just want to work with you, Eight of Pentacles and Four of Wands. You both have similar testimonies to give. Yeah, King of Swords. This person is somebody that's very smart. This could be your person or this could be you. You have to take it where it resonates. But yeah, this person is somebody that's very smart and they, you know, start using their brain in a positive way. This person cannot be manipulated. They cut off, you know, all things that no longer serve purpose in their life. And they're able to speak the truth to people no matter what, because they have been through so much with this King of Swords. Yeah, they've been through a lot of toxicity. They could have been binded, you know and blind it to the truth and just bind it to bad habits and they were you know surrounded by this same type of energy and that's what they were used to with this devil card they could have had addictions different things that they were obsessed with different habits gambling habits you know different type of you know habits yeah and it always kept them in conflict five of wands it always kept them in fights arguments you know a lot of drama Different people wanting to compete with them. Different people wanting to be them. And it got them nowhere. Just, you know, a lot of petty stuff that was toxic. And it left this person embarrassed and regret five of cups. Because they probably didn't believe in spirituality. Until they got woke. Until they start having all of these dreams. And they were left in regret. Feeling ashamed, left alone. Feeling like nobody around them. That they were in this never-ending cycle with, you know, could relate to them. But they realized they have a testimony to give. Yeah, this person, is, their heart chakra is like open with this king of cups. This person is in love as well and very emotional. This is somebody that's very intuitive. So, you know, they're going through that awakening. And they were in regret because you could have tried to warn them or tell them something and they didn't believe you because they were in this never ending cycle over and over again. So they didn't believe anything about spirituality until they started, you know, having these dreams. They couldn't sleep at night. And they were in regret. Yeah, their angels and ancestors were getting their attention, balancing things out after you had, you know, tried to warn them and help them. You didn't have nothing to worry about. Because once you spoke the truth to them, you warned them, and you tried to help them, your ancestors were behind, your ancestors and angels was behind the scene balancing things out for you and this person. Because this is your person. So this person can balance out masculine and fem feminine energy. This person could have been somebody that had a big ego and they didn't want to express the way they felt. They could have been around a lot of people that didn't, you know, know how to express the way they felt. 
and this person will always come off cold to you because they don't know how to express their emotions but now they're at the king of cups their heart chakra is open and they're you know learning how to balance their self out masculine and feminine energy because we have both yeah this person had been blinded to the truth to a swords they had been blinded to a lot of stuff before you had your awakening you have been blinded as well to a swords everybody go through different spiritual awakenings at the you know at different separate times some people don't even go through the awakenings because they don't get woke and everyone has their own free will some people will get woke and some people won't some people will want to heal and some people don't you know everybody has their own free will and this person realized that they were blinded at the two of swords a lot of stuff was you know placed around them to keep veils over their eyes and they realize that yeah they look at you as somebody that's equal they look at you as somebody that's their equal somebody that was given to them very given somebody that's very loyal they, they look at you as somebody that they can count on um they they're they're in that same energy but they were giving to the wrong people six of pentacles so they look at you as their equal. They had to been blinded at the two of swords from the truth. Yeah, by a lot of people that were very childish. They were surrounded by page of pentacles. Um, they didn't have much to offer. And this person, they hadn't been around you. You could have felt like this person just blocked you out. But they were at the page of pentacles in that same childish energy where they didn't have much to offer you. And that's not what God want for you. So this person hadn't been around you. Yeah, they had to get this person to match you. The lovers is here. That's why stuff was being balanced out behind the scenes because this person had to do work just like you had to do work. Because this person is your soulmate, the lovers. Yeah, the hangman is here. And then a the strength card is here. So this person was in some type of situation in the hangman position where they were getting enlightened. They could have went to jail. They could have just been stuck in a situation that they didn't know, you know, how to get out of. And they were slowly getting enlightened, paying attention to more stuff that was around them so they could get enlightened. And it helped them grow. The strength card is here. So they had them been through a lot and they realized they have a testimony to give. Yeah, and they needed to complete a cycle. The world is here. They had to end out an old cycle, a never-ending cycle, karmic cycle that they were in so they can walk into a new cycle and have changes coming in. The sun card is here. Things that came to light and a lot of secrets have been exposed. And a lot of stuff was illuminated. If they had to close this cycle out, never-ending karmic cycle, they want to be happy. The sun card is here. Walking into a whole new cycle. Walking into a whole new life that they created for their self as they stood up in this emperor energy. They had to gain that strength. They had to gain, you know, growth after going through so much. Yeah, and they sailed away from things that no longer serve purpose in their life. Six of Swords is here. They were divinely guided to sail away so they can get woke. It was a lot of stuff that was backfiring on them at the Seven of Wands. They realized a lot of people were creating blockages for them. So they had to block those people out at the Seven of Wands. So they kept going through backfire, you know, trials, tribulations, obstacles, tornadoes around these same people that were karmic energies in a karmic cycle. Yeah, Four of Swords. They isolated their self laid situations to rest. No matter if it was love, relationship, different family members, they just realize as you get a certain age, everybody cannot stay attached to you. You can love people from a distance. You don't hate people. You still love people, but everyone has their own separate life. So they had to put their self in, uh, you know, isolation and in solitude to get enlightened. They were like forced to, but they kept watching you, Page of Swords. They kept, you know, making sure that they were able to, you know, keep seeing you in a positive light because they realized that, you know, you were speaking the truth to them and they were in regret for not believing you because they didn't believe in spirituality. 
They didn't know anything about it. As these two of swords veils had to be placed over their eyes. Yeah, they look at you as their empress. Page of swords and then the empress is here. Somebody that stands up and leads in a positive way and you manifest anything that you want because you walk in this divine feminine energy. Yeah, they want to bring justice to you. They want to balance out the scales. Justice is here. Yeah, this person has started loving their self, Ace of Cups. And they finally start taking care of their self. As this, you know, when this Ace of Cups popped out, I've heard, I heard they're in love. Justice and Ace of Cups, they're in love with you. And they want to give you justice. Because you could have been showing them that you were in love with them in the past. And they didn't know how to, you know, as they were in that childish energy, they didn't know how to interpret it. You know, that from you. They didn't know how to accept it because they had never, you know, felt love. They hadn't been through so much. So they kind of like, you know, held back from you. Yeah, you were healing. The star card is here. You still chose to heal. And they realized that you are somebody that is a healer. No matter what, you know, if they didn't believe you, you still chose to heal. You kept, you know, walking in your purpose. You kept being who you are. You kept pouring out love. No matter what, it didn't stop you. I'm this made this person want to heal. The star card is here. Will of Fortune, Four of Cups, and then King of Wands. This person realized that they had rejected a cup from you of love that you were trying to give them and you were somebody that was destined to be with them. The will of fortune. You were somebody that was good luck to them and they realized they rejected that. Four of cups. And they needed to heal with this star card. So they could stand up and be this king of wands. Have heavy passion to go towards whatever they wanted out of life. Have heavy passion to lead their own life and not care what this person think, what this family member think, or what this friend thought. They realize these people are childish and they don't have anything going for their future or their self. So they have to stand up and lead their own life. King of Wands. Have confidence in their self. Because they realize can't nobody build their confidence up like they did. They have been around these people their whole life and no one were, was able to build their confidence up. And that's what made them realize you had the same soul as them. You helped them build their confidence up behind the scenes as they were watching you at the Page of Swords. Jump from a nine of pentacles to this empress and page of swords. So they were watching you become this empress. Be this boss that you always been and step up in your energy. And that's what made them step up in their energy. Yeah, and make them know what they want out of life. Three of wands. They made a final decision and... A lot of people were depressed, three of swords, because they wanted you to be depressed. They wanted you to look like somebody that was depressed, somebody that was going through a lot because you spoke the truth to this person. They didn't want you, this person to know that they knew about spirituality and they were behind the scenes doing a whole bunch of stuff. So this person wouldn't think, you know, that you knew about spirituality. They want them to think that whatever you knew was something that was evil just because you probably read tarot or you exposed uh, someone placing stuff in your person's food. You could have went through a spiritual awakening where you had a lot of dreams and things like that. And these people wanted you to be ashamed of your gifts so you would never use them. And you would be insecure. And it didn't work. You still chose to heal. You still chose to stand up in the energy that you were born in. This empress or emperor energy. You didn't let it affect you. And a lot of people are at the three of swords depressed and heartbroken. Only because of manipulation and magic didn't work. You know, just made this person want to connect with you. They want to express the way they feel to you. This opened up this person's heart chakra. With this Knight of Cups. They were sitting back at the Three of Swords because they could no longer finesse this person. Or finesse your person. Or come in and try to finesse you because y'all hadn't got woke. Y'all hadn't already been through a lot. 
and you're not going to go through the same cycle again as you're walking into a new cycle and you have changes coming in. Yeah, a lot of people are going through karma, judgment as they're stuck in that old cycle, you know, within their own free will. They're under judgment right now. Yeah, because in ending tech came, the death card is here. Your person put a death to situations and you have put a death to situations. People are no longer able to manipulate you or manipulate your person. Situations have been put to rest. Yeah, three of pentacles in the reverse. There's no, you know, you don't have to worry about no third parties behind the scenes when you come back in union with this person. Or nobody behind the scenes that's able to manipulate your person. Your person won't have to worry about nobody able to manipulate you. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Anything that they were trying to build behind the scenes, it did not work. Whatever that they were building on with a person when you last, you know, spoke with them or if you just knew but they didn't tell you, that Three of Pentacles in, is in the reverse. They're no longer building with whomever, you know, friends, family members or a relationship that they were in. They're no longer letting a third party interfere with whatever they want to have with you. Yeah, the, these third parties were Knight of Wands energies. They just wanted to have this person, keep this person in a lustful energy. Where they can, you know, have this person at the Knight of Wands doing stuff without thinking it through. So they can come quick, you know, in and out of this person's life, get what they want and just go. And that's what this person was in. The energy that this person was in the last time you were around this person. And that's why this person had to ghost you. This person had to reject you. And it was all for your protection. Yeah, the hair fine is here. And then seven of swords in the reverse. So this person want to be loyal. They want to commit to you. They could want to possibly marry you. This is like a possible marriage, something that God ordains. And, you know, this person look at you as somebody that's very, you know, wise, positive. You can give spiritual advice to people and help people. And they, you won't have to worry about this person coming at you in a sneaky, deceptive way with the seven of swords in the reverse. They look at you as somebody that's loyal and they don't want you to think that they, you know, you can't trust them and they trust you. This person probably only trusts you as they look at you as a hair font. And then seven of swords, remember, they don't want you to think that they would, you know, do anything to you in a sneaky, deceptive way. Seven of swords in the reverse. A lot of people that were being behind the scenes at the Three of Pentacles building, they built towers for themselves that they didn't see. That's why it's in the reverse. Whatever they built, it didn't work. It just fell down. And then the Seven of Swords, they got caught. So they can no longer be sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes anymore. Yeah, a lot of people went through tower moments for dealing with an overflow of bad choices. From choices that they made behind the scenes. Stuff that they didn't even have to do, these karmic energies. They sat back and created towers for their self, as I said. And they're sitting back dealing with all that stuff that they built. It just fell down and, and came back on them tenfold. Yeah, in the past, Six of Cups. This is all events that took place in the past, Six of Cups. These people did this in the past, created tower moments for their self. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. They didn't get anything out of whatever they invested in to try to, you know, do harm to you or cause destruction in your life behind the scenes. They didn't get anything. Whatever they invested time, money, or energy, they didn't get anything. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. They had to realize they didn't get anything out of whatever they tried to do to you and your person to try to stop y'all or create blockages. Yeah, because your person still look at you as wish fulfillment, nine of cups. And they only look at you. Yeah, the hermit card is here. This person have ghosted a lot of people. This person is probably still in isolation from you. Away from you and you feel like this person just ghosted you. You ain't heard from this person. This person is watching you as their wish fulfillment. And they're trying to figure out how, how can they come out of this hermit mode. 
as they had gained a lot of wisdom being away from people. They went within to investigate. Yeah, Knight of Swords in the reverse. They don't want you to be mad at them about something. Maybe because this person ghosted you. So they don't want you to be angry. They don't want you to be mad when they do come towards you. They want to be able to talk to you and have a grown-up conversation. They don't want you to sit back and say, hey, I told you this and that and I told you so and all this negativity. They want all that slander. God, they want to keep that in the past. Because this person have turned into somebody different than what you last seen them. They have healed. Um, they don't want to, you know, they don't want to have none of that negativity attached to them anymore. And that's why they've been in Herman mode. They've been ashamed of their self. They've been going through a lot. And that's what the, you know, angels and ancestors wanted to point out to them behind the scenes. The way they did you. And you were only, you know, being loyal to them, helping them, giving them positive advice. About stuff that they didn't know. All because you had to got woke first and then that person had to get woke. As y'all have the same soul. Yeah, you were just speaking the truth to them, Queen of Swords. And they look at you as somebody that speaks the truth. You're loyal. You're honest. You wouldn't lie to this person. You're somebody that's very smart and they can trust you. And they also know that you, you know, are somebody that's very loving, caring. You're forgiving. They want to be honest. They know you were honest with them and they know that you're somebody that's forgiving. This could be, you know, as I said, this is how this person see you, but this is also your energy. You're somebody that's very forgiving and they know that. They don't want you to just be a queen of swords, you know, all the time. They know that you can, you know, transfer your energy in a positive way as you are the empress. You can embody every queen in a deck. But you know how to balance your emotions out. You're not someone that's just cold all the time, a queen of swords and cutting off your empress at the end of the day. And this person had to realize that as they became an emperor, as they're the king of cups, matching your queen of cups. King of Swords matching your Queen of Swords. King of Pentacles matching your Queen of Pentacles. And so on, you know. And this person wants to apologize. They want to start off with at least an apology, Page of Cups, for being emotionally immature because they didn't know how to express their emotions in the past. Yeah, also, it was a lot of stuff that was hidden to them. The High Priestess is here. They possibly didn't even know that you knew how to read tarot. And they could have thought, you know, in a tradition that they were in for so long, they could have thought that, that was something that was evil. And they didn't know that they were somebody that would start reading tarot. And, you know, they're woke. They didn't know that they could be somebody like a psychic medium. And they would learn the truth and gain the truth about stuff that they didn't know. Yeah, and it made them walk away, eight of cups. It made them start viewing a li life in a whole nother perspective. Just walking away from toxic patterns, toxic situations, toxic people. As they started, you know, having a whole new mindset. Eight of Cups. And not being at the Seven of Cups in illusions and confusion. Stuck in the Matrix. And constantly in this never-ending cycle over and over again and getting the same results. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse and didn't get nothing that they invested in. Nothing out of whatever they invested in. Yeah, they realized they had to take a leap of faith. The Fool card is here. Take a leap of faith and tor towards new ventures in life into the unknown instead of constantly going through the same cycle that they hadn't been in so much. And it was never ending. Yeah, they want a new beginning, Ace of Wands. They want to be intimate with you. Ace of Pentacles, they want to offer you something that you cannot refuse. Yeah, they look at you, they're very attracted to you. They look at you as somebody that's, you know, a go-getter. You're very, you have a lot of confidence in yourself to lead in a positive way with this Queen of Wands. And you can stand up and lead and attract and keep yourself well grounded and still chase after your goals. Yeah, no matter people, it's a lot of people that was trying to sabotage you at the Five of Swords and they realize that because of how you look, the type of boss you are, the type of go-getter you are. The type of confidence that you have. And people were envious of that. Jealous of that. Left them mentally unstable and exposed. As they exposed their self. For being mentally unstable. Envious. Wanted to win at all costs because of how you look. 
how you stand out and how you carry yourself. How you sit back and manifest with the musician card in a positive way. How you're a creative person to have creativity and foresight of your own future. And people could not stand that and they realized that. That made them only look at you. That only made that made them only hold you in high honor, six of wands. Yeah, the moon card is here. Eight of wands and eight of swords. So somebody secretly, you know, whatever was done in the dark, I'm hearing the moon card is here. Somebody was secretly playing with, um, secretly trying to keep this person stuck, eight of swords. Could have been a karmic that you exposed. Could have been multiple karmics that you exposed that wanted to keep this person at an eight of swords bound to the devil. Binded and blinded to the devil for whatever, you know, they did wrong. And it was a lot of manipulation with this moon card. A lot of spell work. And they didn't want this person to know that they were trying to keep them stuck. Possibly tried to place a binding spell on them so they would never be able to detach from this energy. All because you sent a message or something or this person was coming quickly towards you, eight of wands. They were trying to move quickly towards you and they secretly had this person stuck. That's why this person couldn't come towards you. They secretly did something to have you stuck as well because you sent a message or something over, you know, an email, something over social media about these people. Yeah, so they want to slow you down. Knight of Pentacles and Page of Wands, that was a message of concern to them. They wanted to slow you down in some type of way, slow your money down, just overall slow you down from walking in your gifts and being able to help people. Get out of toxic situations or karmic cycles with karmic people. That concerned them and they wanted to slow you down. You also communicated about somebody trying to get some quick money from them. And it had this person at the four of pentacles. Being stingy with time, money, energy and holding back from a lot of people. Moving in silence. Being mindful of what they spend their time and their money and their energy on. Four of pentacles. Yeah, this person jumped on a cherry at the gain of truth and clarity. I'm there moving forward in life. Ten of swords in the reverse, breaking generational curses. No longer under a curse in a hex. Yeah, a lot of people stand at a two of wands not knowing which way to go. The same two of wands that they plant for you and your person to be in. Or at, at a stalemate, not being able to make a proper decision. Yeah, and that's the truth, Ace of Swords Clarity. As they had a two of wands, y'all had to gain truth and clarity. Y'all know the truth, Ace of Swords Clarity. You know, a lot of people sitting at the Five of Pentacles, feeling ghosted, feeling left alone, left to deal with their financial curse that they had them place on their self for everything that they did wrong to people in a negative way. Stuff that they hadn't did to their ancestors. And that's why they're feeling left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles, a spiritual disgrace. Their ancestors don't want nothing to do with them. Because they chose to stay physically, mentally, and spiritually out in the cold. And didn't want to gain the knowledge about spirituality. Didn't want to use their gifts in a positive way. They wanted to use them in a negative way. And that's why their ancestors had them left them in a low vibrational state. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, and now they're feeling pressured, burdened, and weighed down like a lot of weight is on one individual. Ten of Wands, they're left to deal with their own baggage. They're left to deal with whatever they threw in other people's face that they couldn't see and on their back that they couldn't weigh. That's called karma. It come back to you tenfold. Ten of Wands. Heavy burden. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles. So they're, you know, they overall want to commit to you. They want to marry you with this Queen of Pentacles and they're trying to figure out how can they balance this out with you? That's why they're still in Herman mode. But they know the truth. 